The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Fanatics of Ocean City, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Kid Candy Store. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here in Orlando, Florida in a, a, a candy store for the fishing afflicted. It's the International Tackle Show, the annual iCast event. Now at iCast we, uh, we find out about all the latest products, line, rods, reels, lures, boating accessories, everything that's coming out later in 2016 and also brand new for 2017. So make sure you keep reading the Fisherman Magazine, whatever we find here, we're going to be sharing with you in the coming months. Of course, probably the best news for you is if I'm a thousand miles away from Cape May, as I am right now, you pretty darn good bet that the action's pretty good. The farther I am from the water, the better the action. And what a difference a week makes. Those are the exact words of Kathy Algard over at Sterling Harbor Bait and Tackle, who's telling us that the back bay bite in Cape May County has improved with the fluke. Um, also, the deep water opportunities like the old grounds in Cape May Reef. In fact, um, Sean and Mark here, that's where they were, the Cape May Reef, when they caught this eight pounder on live minnow. I mentioned Sterling Harbor because the annual Duke of Fluke, it's a really big fluke tournament that's happening this Saturday. Not just the tournament itself, but folks love this tournament because of the party that happens afterwards. So make sure you check in with the folks at Sterling Harbor Bait and Tackle in Wildwood to check in on that tournament. Now, if we move farther north back up to doormat country, the thing we've been talking about for several weeks now, the run of big fluke continues along the Raritan Bay. In fact, Dawn Johansmeyer of Oak Ridge, she just weighed in this week a 13 and a half pound fluke. She caught on spearing and squid combo. She was in Sandy Hook Channel, register that big doormat over at the tackle box in Hazlitt. If you start looking at the Dreamboat leaderboard, you'll find more and more of those doormats, those big 10 pound plus fish, are being caught. Now all along the coast as well, some of the reef sites are producing. The party boats are doing well, hitting the sites like uh, Axel Carlson, uh, the Barnegat Life Reef, the, the, the tires, that deep structure. In fact, Jamie Goshorn of Barlow's, he was on the Miss Barnegat Light over the weekend and did well with this brace of good fluke. So again, the party boats are out there and they're getting in on that deep water, so it's a good opportunity to get out there with the professionals in order to take advantage of that fluke. Now, in addition to the fluke, the, uh, the boats, the party boats are also finding good bottom fishing. Those black sea bass, the bite is really turned on, that two fish limit. But folks like Ralph Lair of Last Lady Sport Fishing out of Neptune are out there and spicing up those fluke days with some good catches of black sea bass as well. We're also finding more of our summer visitors. It happens every year, right? Uh, we get visitors from all over the tri-state area, but also we're getting those summer visitors that you wouldn't normally expect along the Jersey Shore. In fact, the Sheep's Head are in. There's a good bite of Sheep's Head. Dave at Absecan Bay, sportsman in Absecan, he checked in with us, said Dan Schaefer of Insomniac Charters has been catching some big sheep's head. Now some of these fish are up in the, uh, the higher reaches, close to 10 pounds. So if you're out there, you want to give it a shot. Great tasting fish and a hard fighting fish as well. Over in, uh, in Brigantine, we talked to Andy at Riptide Bait and Tackle. He had an interesting bycatch. Photo came into the shop the other day. Uh, looks to be a good size sandbar or brown shark. Some folks are saying blue. Checked in with some of the, the leading biologists I know. Still question whether it's a blue shark, a sharp nose, or even a brown or sandbar. So good indication, this is in the back bay. Plenty of browns and sand tigers now in the wash and also showing up in the back bay as well. Don't forget those sand tigers and those sandbars or brown sharks, they are a prohibited species. So if you catch one, you gotta release it as quickly as possible. Speaking of Andy, if you got our, uh, our Monday bulletin, you saw one of the bigger dream boat dolphin catches of the year was weighed in to Riptide Bait and Tackle. Uh, over the weekend, Captain Tony Melandro was at the 20 fathom line and hooked up with this nice 50 plus inch 30 pound mahi. Should put him at the number one spot in the mahi division for the dream boat contest. Don't forget guys, we're only a couple of weeks away from August, hard to believe. August is the, the fish of the month is going to be mahi. So as you're competing for the rest of the, the prizes on that Dreamboat leaderboard, and of course that brand new Cobia Center console, a mahi is a special prize for the month of August. So make sure you bring those fish in. And that's the same thing with the black sea bass. A lot of folks don't think to weigh in their mahi or the black sea bass. Do it and you could win a prize. We're finding more cobia along the Jersey Shore as well. I've talked to several people who are finding them uh, inside the federal line. 
Uh, if you read the Fisherman magazine earlier this year, we were talking about the Cobia closure. Well, that Cobia closure is outside of the three mile line. That's out in federal waters. So if you happen across one of those giant logs in the water, inside coastal waters, black bombers, um, eel limitations, of course, live bunker, they're a sucker for live bunker, but those Cobia are in as well. In fact, uh, Emma Z here of Ocean City, Maryland, Emma Zagel, age nine, brand new state record in, De in, in, in Maryland. I said um, uh, it's a Maryland fish, Ocean City's new state record, 94.6 pounds. Amazing fish. Congratulations, Emma. You can read more about her story over at thefisherman.com. Uh, there's plenty of action this weekend. Plenty of tournament action as well. Sunshine Foundation, they have their fluke tournament out of Tuckerton this Saturday. Captain's meeting is on Friday. If you want to find out more about what to do this weekend, what kind of tournaments are going on, make sure you pick up this week's edition. You subscribers, you're the only ones that get it. Go over to your friend's house if you're not subscribing. Pick up his weekly edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Better yet, you better subscribe. Of course, if you want to find an online calendar of events, you can always visit us at thefisherman.com. I think I've got some more tackle to shake free from some of these guys. I'm going to go. I'll see you again next week here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Fanatics of Ocean City, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.